Hi guys, my name is David and in this lecture we are going to learn together how to build a real estate platform uh, so the real estate agents and the users can uh, can use the application and the real estate agents will be posting their uh, properties for sale, for rent and uh, uh, pro other users can log in and uh, browse through the properties and communicate with real estate agents to uh, to arrange an appointment for viewing or to purchase the property. So um, I'm going to do a short demonstration here what the uh, end result is going to be like. So um, right now I'm running it on my uh, iPhone 6s and uh, let me switch to my application here and do a short demo uh, to you so you can see uh, what we are going to build together. So here I'm opening the application and at the beginning uh, we are going to have a recent screen here. Uh, these are the latest uh, properties. Um, on the top here we can see the, let me move my mouse, here we can see the property title. We can add it to our um, favorite properties. We can see number of rooms, number of bathrooms, number of parkings. Then we have uh, the price. So each property has this information and also the image of the property. Then we have the button here where you can filter how many recent properties we can see. Let's say I want to see only two. And it will update uh, only to display two properties. Um, here I can tab on the star button and it will add to my uh, favorite properties. And you see the star changes the color so I can see that it's my pro favorite properties. Then by clicking on the property I'm interested in, I will be loaded with the screen where I can uh, browse through the images. I can click on the image, it will enlarge, I can zoom in, zoom out, I can slide, do anything I want. I can actually even share the image here and I can click done or just slide down, it will disappear. Here I have some information about the apartment. I have the title on the top here. Then I have the price, um, there are no information for the number of square meters. I didn't put anything, this is just a dummy thing. So we have the balcony size, nothing, bathrooms, 14, which is kind of strange, but it's okay. Um, title deeds, uh, central heating, these are no, 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 no. Uh, we don't have anything here. We have description, uh, which currently there are there is no description, it's just a text description, but the user can put description. Also, once our uh, apartment or property has a, a location, coordinates on the map, we are going to display here at the bottom the map where the, where the property is located. Um, if we click on the plus button here, this will allow us to, um, to create a new property. Uh, we will give a reference code for the property, which is good for each uh, real estate agent to have its uh, uh, because they have some kind of database by themselves. So uh, when you are contacting them regarding any property, it's easier for them to find the property by the reference number than if you say that I have seen some three bedroom apartment, can we arrange a meeting? All right, so we have the title, we have number of rooms, bathrooms, property size, balcony size, parking, floor, address, city, country, advertisement type, which is uh, we can select one of the options here um, available uh, from this is again we are going to say the date if we want to which will uh, show when the apartment the property will be available uh, build year again we have some uh, options to choose a year here uh, property type we have like apartment house villa land you can add your own if you want the price uh, the ones that have asterisks next to them, as yes, uh, fields are mandatory. And we have short description, our user can uh, type anything. Uh, we can uh, switch on or off some of the features. And at the bottom here we have two options to use the current location of the device or we can uh, click on the pin on the map, which will open the map here. Uh, we can zoom in to any, any place, we can uh, drop a pin. If we hold long enough, it will drop a pin there. So um, once I click done, the coordinates of the pin will be registered so we can add it to our current property. 
uh, we can choose uh, pictures here uh, I'm running my iPhone now uh, or you can take a pictures or you can choose uh, pictures from your uh, from your gallery for example I'm choosing some pictures now and this will add five pictures to my property and once I click save it will it's going to, to save the property then if we move to my favorite favorite properties here uh, I'm going to see that I have one favorite property uh, because here I clicked my the star button uh, again if I click on the property uh, it's going to bring me to the same place uh, we have a callback uh, button here on top when we click on it uh, it doesn't call to the to the real estate agent who is uh, who owns this property but uh, it will send him a notification that some user is interested in the property so let's say I can actually click here and it will remove the property from my favorite properties and uh, if I go to my properties here here I will see all the properties that my current user has put as uh, for sale section and here on top left we have a notification button so if I click on the notification button I will see that uh, my current user who is a real estate agent I have one notification from user 3 with the last name last and uh, doesn't have a mobile number to display but uh, he is interested in my property with the title cert and the notification was sent to me on 22nd of October 2010 uh, 2017 I can drag this to delete or I can keep it here so I can uh, I can contact uh, this person this buyer who is interested in my property then um, I can uh, here I have my properties I can click on the menu button here I can edit my property I can mark it as sold which will uh, put a sold mark next to it I can mark it unsold uh, like available if I if I were meant to change the status or uh, I can put this uh, uh, to the top properties I can promote it so you see now it has a top ad next to it and uh, if we go to the recents my top ad property will be the first to display even if the user search for something so uh, in order to put a property in top ads uh, I have here my user profile with the information here and uh, also I can change any information here I can add I can delete I can update it you can see I have coins here next to my user photo I can also actually update my photo here so uh, <clears throat> in order to put a property for in top uh, every time you put a property in top it will take 10 coins from you so if you don't have a coins you are going to purchase them so I say buy coins or you can save changes once you have done any changes here or you can say um, here it uh, says that I am an agent already if you are a normal user uh, you can buy a uh, agent pro uh, promotion here so every agent can post unlimited number of properties while uh, normal users can post only one property for sale so the agent property uh, agent uh, future is going to be based on subscription and I think it's monthly subscription and uh, we are going to put a different uh, price here uh, depending whatever you want or we can buy coins uh, for these to buy coins uh, because right now my application is in sandbox mode it says just uh, confirmed for in a purchase and that I'm going to buy a purchase of one coins for 2.99 actually it's not one it's 10 coins and I need to put the password I'm going to click cancel now because uh, for this to work uh, I need to log in as a test user because the application is in some test mode now right so if we log out uh, now my user is not logged uh, in so I'm just a guest user here I can see all the features here I can search uh, I cannot add a property because let's see when I'm coming to add a property it's asked me to register to the application which I can do by a phone number or by email I have just a short register there 
Then uh, in favorite, again, if you are not logged in user, you, are, uh, you cannot see the favorite properties because there is nothing to register there. And my properties, same thing. It's going to ask you to register or log in. All right, um, another thing here for the search. We are in search view here. And if I click on search parameters, here I will be able to put uh, like what I want to search for. Advertisement type. I want to get something for sale. The property type, I'm looking for an apartment. Uh, bedrooms, let's say I want one plus. Um, let me, everything else I will keep empty. So click done. And it brings me back how many properties? We have three properties and the, the top ad is actually the first one to display because the real estate agent is paying for it. We have to display it the first. So these properties, uh, these are all three uh, properties that match my search parameters. All of them are more than one bedroom. Uh, all of them are flats. And what else did I have there? Yeah, and these are for sale, not for rent. So let's say I want something for rent, not for sale. Property type, I want an apartment. Let me see if there is anything here. It says your search uh, didn't bring any results. So actually there is nothing for rent actually which is a shame. Uh, let's just say we want to rent a house maybe. There is something here. No, no results here. So I guess all my properties are uh, forced under the sale part. All right, so um, this is the application we are going to build together. You can see all the features of it. For the application, um, for uh, login and registration and everything, let me open my uh, browser here and uh, if I go to my console.firebase we are using uh, Firebase for user authentication to save our users to upload uh, all our pictures. Let's go to our database here. This is my user. We have our storage here where uh, we are uploading all our uh, pictures of our properties. Also, we will be saving all our notifications here if, uh, if we have a notification like uh, let me bring back my device here like if I go to okay now I'm logged out the, the notification part there all right and uh, in order to save the properties I am actually using for this one the backendless the reason I choose the backendless for saving the property here, which is only the, the table for property, is pretty simple. Uh, first of all, backendless gives some free uh, free options to use. It's very good to for the new developers who are just starting to grow. Uh, other ones you have to pay in advance. And the other feature, uh, which is actually the main reason I moved to use the backendless for displaying the properties is because backendless is uh, working based on a SQL search. So uh, Firebase is really good uh, backend, but when it comes to search something, it's, uh, it's a nightmare to search something there. While backendless, uh, when we want to search something, we can just uh, use MySQL-like uh, search. And uh, we, when we are searching, uh, let's back, get back here. When we are searching for property, we give all the values we want here, and all the thing will, all the searching will be done in a backendless side, which is the server side, and our user will get only the properties we are interested in. So the server does all the filtering and send us only the required properties. While for Firebase, it's not really good search uh, features that Firebase provides. So we can do one or two filters and then we are going to get a bunch of uh, properties which we need to filter out on the user side. So we are going to download a lot of unnecessary information from, uh, from the server. We are going to use the internet traffic for this. Then we are going to use the mobile processing power to uh, start filtering out on the, on the device side. So for this reason, I used backendless, which does all the quick filtering on our on the site, and returns only the properties we want to see. All right, um, this is uh, this is it. 
if you liked uh, my application and if you want to build it with me uh, go ahead and subscribe to my class uh, I promise we are going to have fun uh, building this application I just wanted to apologize for my voice I'm kinda sick when I'm shooting this video so my nose is closed and I'm coughing a lot so this is the application uh, we are going to build it from the scratch together and as usually I'm explaining every single line of the code don't worry if you are not familiar with anything we will go through together you will learn everything uh, we will build our application from scratch and once we are done we are going to actually upload it to App Store so our application will be live on App Store the good thing about this application is as a platform once you learn how to do this you can uh, utilize your knowledge on anything I mean if you want to sell cars if you want to sell I don't know mobile phones anything or you can have everything at once you can have like uh, small sections outside for example a real estate uh, a motor um, some kind of uh, toys or anything so each user can select this uh, part and go in depth to the to the future uh, future uh, advertisements posted here and also the users can uh, can log in register spend some money on your application to promote their products so they will sell for a shorter time than usual so uh, if you are interested again subscribe and uh, hope to see you in my class good luck